Happy Monday, y'all. I am walking outside. It's very nice. You guys can see everything's turning green and it's beautiful out here. The weather's beautiful, but we are still under a freeze warning here in Oklahoma, so I don't dare to put my plants out. But that's not why I'm on here today. I'm on here today to share with you something, something that happened to me. And I realize that some of you totally are gonna think I'm crazy and you may not believe me and that's totally fine. Some of you will. Some of you are gonna believe what I'm about to share with you because you're gonna to choose to believe like I'm choosing to believe. So, um, I have heard people testify before about gold dust and glitter and feathers and things and I've often wondered, I'm like, Lord, is that real? Do you really do that? So I've questioned him about it because I myself had never seen anything like it. And so this very thing was brought up last Thursday um, in a small group that I go to. On Thursday nights we gather, we pray, we worship, someone will give a devotional. And so the word gold dust was brought up. And I do believe that we don't have to see these things. We don't have to see manifestations of things to know God's present to know like that he's working a miracle. Like sometimes we don't see these things instantly. Um, so I believe that God works miracles every day, things that we don't see um, with our natural eye. So yesterday at church during our evening service, um, the pastor had us turn to 1 Corinthians chapter three. So I opened my Bible and there was something that caught my eye, like something glistened. And I looked down again, and there it was. This little speck of gold glitter in my Bible, right over the word no. I was like, is this really happening right now? Is this real? Where did this even come from? Just a few days earlier, you guys, I was wondering, God, do you work that way? Guys, he's God. He's the Almighty. He is the great I am. He can do whatever he chooses to do to show us he is real and he is there and he hears us. He heard my thought. You guys, he heard my thought. I don't know where it came from, but it just happened to, to be there on the page that our pastor had us turn to and so I showed some others after church. I had showed some others and I shared with them. And you guys, I'm choosing to believe that that was the Lord speaking to me, showing me that I hear you, my daughter. I hear you. I see you and I know you. I'm choosing to believe it, y'all. That that was a small little manifestation of a miracle that God showed this to me. Now, some of you still may not believe and that's okay, but maybe I can challenge you to ask the Lord to show you something privately, personally. That's how he works, privately and personally. He does miracles every day that we don't see. Just breathing is a miracle, you guys. I just... <sighs> I just couldn't believe that this one little speck of gold glitter was on the very page. And it also made me pay attention to the word that was spoken. It also got my attention to say, hey, I need to pay attention to what my pastor's saying because this is from God. So that was another way that he had got my attention with this one little speck of gold glitter. You guys, this really happened, and I debated on whether I would share this on here or not, and I believe we need to be sharing these things. We need to be sharing the things the Lord is doing. Um, I believe there's others out there that may have had the same experience that I had. Um, man, y'all, he's so good. He's so good. So I'm going to like huff and puff and walk up this hill, you guys, <laughs> and I want to say thanks for watching. God bless, and I pray today that you choose to believe. Choose to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. 
you guys choose to believe today.